and let me do this integral you know uh, it it looks that it's not easy because uh, it is a rational function and uh, with the uh, get involved with the uh, log function and so on and a square too so the first step is this let me we write a numerator as a log x minus 1. So here we negative outside and uh, x minus log x square. Okay, then, then I write uh, this way log x. This is x minus log x square right now can I write log x minus x plus x and uh, then log x minus x plus x then minus 1 then it is equal right equal sign X, X can cancel out the the reason of doing this way because uh, uh, I can cancel one of them see this one becomes a negative uh, DX uh, log x minus x x minus log is square and x, log x minus x is square is no difference so I can cancel one of them and uh, the other one becomes plus negative negative plus uh, log x minus x square right this will be equal to 1 minus x I change the sign negative become plus okay. well uh, do you follow if I switch these two I get a negative sign the negative cancel that negative become positive so the integral becomes this now this one I keep as is log x minus x this one I write uh, this is log x minus x square I take x out it becomes a 1 over x minus 1, isn't it? dx, yeah. Well, do you notice that the derivative of, of x, derivative of this one is this, derivative of this one is this. So it means that, it means uh, I can rewrite the integral as a, uh, as uh, this x is this one this one and that one it becomes a d log x minus x yeah this derivative will be negative 1 over this square right so negative becomes well positive becomes negative and uh, multiplied by this derivative which is this time this one is so the equal sign is maintained. This one is a negative, this over this square, times this. So I change it positive to negative. This x is this. Then I can use by parts. This one's a negative, dx, 
log x minus x minus now u dv right this becomes a u times a v change it negative change it plus v du v is this du is a dx okay so this one cancel with that one so left over is the negative x log x minus x well that's the end of it that is the result of this integral now if you don't like a negative well, we can write this way right x over x minus log x yeah that's better no no negative sign so that's the result of our, our integral so it's, it's a very nice way to do it because uh, we we are practicing the basic techniques of integrations this is a very nice example thank you